I love him to bits, everybody knows that. He's my little brother. And people wonder how come I got to be best man and he has uh, four or five hundred brothers. We're in the pub one night myself and Jerry and Jerry says to me, Kimball, I'm going to pick one of the brothers to be best man. And I says, which one do you want to pick? He says, I don't know. And at this stage the barman put it in and the barman says, you may pick the one that's close to you. Well, I was only about two feet away from him. <laughs> That's how I got to A man who's been a big part of Carol's life, a man who's been there for Carol through the good times and the bad, and a man who's given Carol guidance and comfort all her life. I'm sorry to say Bob Gendon can't be here today. So I'm going to pass you over if I'm lonely instead. Uh, we all know why we're here today, to get drunk. Obviously, I know Jerry a long time, ever since the adoption came through. <laughs> it's still all the because he always thought he was Paul McGrath. Uh, and we had to stop calling him nigger as soon as he started drinking the bleach. <laughs> we didn't eat that up. But, uh, all his life, he's been trying to set records. And fair him now, he's set a few. Uh, <laughs> The one record that sends out now that he, he actually did was, he's the quickest sending off in soccer ever. I don't know what the most of is He was actually still in the car, togging out, when he left the way he the right hand. <laughs> and another one was, he's, he was to two secondary schools in the space of two months. Two different schools in two months. They came home, the mother says, what's wrong, Ger? He says, I don't fit in. The mother says, how come you don't fit in? He says, all my classmates are white. <laughs> but this, the third one now, he actually hit the Guinness Book of Records this time. It was, it was in the 1999 edition. And he was on the same page as A. McCoughlin for breaking the mile, you know, Roger Bannister, uh, Carol Lewis, the whole lot of them around. Jerry was the quickest man ever to go up a flight of stairs. The only problem was Jerry did in the car. Anyway, I, I like to welcome Carol in the family. I forgot about Carol. I haven't mentioned Carol at all yet. Because God knows we could do with more family members. <laughs> We're getting scarce at the moment, eh? You know, I look out there, you only see 280. <laughs> but I, I know Carol will love us. When she gets to know us, she loves us. Like, we have two sisters that love us. And they love us a bit. One loves us that much, she moves 12,000 miles away. <laughs> and the other loves us that much, she joined the guards. That's <laughs> 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 uh, my sister Liz Hall from New Zealand. And my younger sister Mary. Uh, she know you all by name after her, but she starts taking them. <laughs> well, I still talk to my two sisters. We all do like it. It's only now when we talk to Lisa, it costs about four pounds a minute. When we talk to no, we know we need a sister in the room. especially for this card, and uh, not just for the card, for the money you put in it. And it says they like to buy him a drink after if the barman's able to break a tenner. <laughs> uh, I just, I just know when I'm talking about Paddy, I was looking down there looking for him, but I see another man here, and it took him, now you have to give this man around the pause, it took him a lot to get here. 
because we only heard during the week he's a phobia of big crowds and he's a publican uh, we got 10 Joe down there and they don't, they don't pay. and he, he, no expenses spared at all coming here today he went out the other day looking for an outfit and he ended up in Heaton's and he, he spent 29 euro on the whole outfit now those be socks cost more than that. <laughs> well, as clever as he, as he was, he should have went a hundred yards further down the road and he would have gone for fifteen pound cheaper in two riders. <laughs> and the only reason I know that is because Henry told me. Because <laughs> he was in price on his own. <laughs> oh yeah, one more story. We all know there is a few sayings in his life and one of them is I, I bet you. Every time he always knows, I bet you this, I bet you that. And he never caught me out until one time over and tried around the building and said, Johnny, Johnny Logan's. Jay's never heard Johnny. Laura mentioned him. Oh, uh, he's not dead the way he said me, was he? <laughs> he's not here, is he? <laughs> well, we're on this building site one day anyway. Myself and Busby and Cody were walking outside in the house. That's the brothers now. Not strippers or anything. That's, you know, that's the Russian names. But working on the outside of this house and Ger and Frisbee and Henry and a few others working inside. <coughs> so every day we'd go inside the house for lunch into the sitting room. And I even saw I was sitting in one spot. But this day I went in, walked into the door and went to sit in my spot and there was a pile of water on the floor. So I said to myself, I'm not going to sit there where the pile of water is. I'm going to sit in the car. So that was banned for about five or six minutes. Jerry says to me, you're not sitting very normal, so you says, can't you, just pull the water out. Not until for few more minutes, he says, there's no water on that floor, he says, Jerry says, Jerry says, Jerry says, pull the water out of the floor, look. You're buying the water. I says, he said nothing for another few minutes, he says, I bet you 23 Kimber there's no water on that floor. I says, hold your mind, Jerry says, Jerry says, pull the water out of the floor. So, he says to me, I bet you 40 feet there's no water on the floor. I was getting tea, he said. I stood up out of the chair, got down my hungers on the ground, put my hands into the water, splashed it all out, waved up. I said, if that ain't fucking water, why is it? He says to me, that's piss. <laughs> this microphone back if you think there. <laughs> I'll take a bigger fella and you'll get out of it. There's this new love it. I thought I was going to sing today, but I just wanted to have the microphone. I, I said to myself, I'll stand up here now and then and say, this next song is not my next album. <laughs> 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 I see dead people. <laughs> 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 <laughs>